Hi everyone, I'm Alan Zhang. Today I will uh, present uh, our work, Yuzu, Neural Enhanced Volumetric Video Streaming. Uh, so we all enjoy videos, and nowadays video content we have been watching is evolving. Volumetric video is an emergent type of video content. It brings viewers truly immersive viewing experience with six degree of freedom movement. It is a key technology of realizing telepresence. A volumetric video can be watched through a VR, AR, MR headset, or directly on a desktop computer, which is similar to how we play 3D games. And this short video shows a display of a volumetric video on the right, and how the rendered content changes when the viewer on the left moves in the 3D space. So every frame in a volumetric video consists of a 3D scene and it can be represented by either point cloud or 3D mesh. A point cloud is simply an unsorted set of 3D points with attributes such as color. And a 3D mesh has not only points, but also edge and faces. And in our work, we focus on point cloud based volumetric videos because of its simplicity and the flexibility. But the key concepts of Yuzu also apply to mesh-based volumetric videos. And despite the potentials, uh, streaming volumetric videos over the internet faces the key challenge of high bandwidth consumption. Uh, for example, to stream a volumetric video that has 200,000 points in each frame, and each point is represented by 15 bytes in 30 frames per second, we need at least 720 Mbps bandwidth. And in our paper, we leverage 3D super resolution to improve the quality of experience of volumetric video streaming on the limited bandwidth. Uh, super resolution can improve the visual quality of a static point cloud. An SR model is usually a deep neural network. It takes low resolution point cloud as the input and output the same point cloud with a higher resolution. The resolution for point cloud is defined as its point density. So you may already know that SR for video on demand video streaming consists of two parts, uh, offline training and online streaming. In offline training, uh, we train an SR model for each video using the original high resolution video and leverage the overfitting property of the deep neural network. Uh, in online streaming, the server streams the low resolution content and the pre-trained model to the client. The client then gets the high resolution content by online inference. And since the size of the low resolution content and the pre-trained model is much smaller than the size of the original high resolution content, therefore uh, SR achieves either bindwise reduction or QoE improvement when applied to video on demand video streaming. We then conduct a case study by applying an off-the-shelf 3D SR model, PUGAN, to upsample a volumetric video lab captured by ourselves. The video is two minutes long and each frame has about 100,000 points. We set the SR ratio to four. It means we can upsample a frame from 25,000 points to 100,000 points. We use a 2080 Ti GPU to do our case study. We find that 3D SR has good upsampling accuracy in our case study. It also brings significant bandwidth savings for our two minutes long video about 74%. However, it further shows three main challenges for building a practical SI-enhanced volumetric video streaming system. Uh, first, there is no generic QE model for volumetric video streaming, and there is no idea how SR impacts QE. Uh, second, 3D SR are computationally heavyweight and memory hungry. In our case study, the upsampling speed is less than 0.1 frame per second and the runtime memory is about seven gigabytes. A 2080 Ti GPU usually has 11 gigabytes memory. And third, none of the existing 3D SR models can restore the color information of the upsample point cloud. Uh, to address these challenges, we took the following approach. We start by developing a first QE model for assessing SI-enhanced volumetric video streaming. We validated our models through large scale user studies involving 14, 46 participants. Then we designed and implemented Yuzu, a first SI enhanced QoE aware volumetric video streaming system. It has three key designs intra frame SR, inter frame SR, and network compute resource adaptation. Finally, we 
extensively evaluate users' QE improvement and runtime performance. So let's first take an overview of Yuzu. Yuzu streams video on demand volumetric content stored on an internet server to client host. On the server side, the volumetric video is divided into chunks. Each chunk is encoded into multiple versions with different qualities. Yuzu server also offline trains an optimized SR model for each volumetric video and pre-computes the caching and the reusing decisions for each video. When online streaming a volumetric content, Yuzu server first sends the pre-trained model as well as the caching and reusing decisions to the Yuzu client. The scheduler of the client then begins to fetch volumetric content. The fetch decision is based on the network compute resource adaptation component which is guided by our QoE model. The fetch volumetric contents will then be upsampled by the as a model considering the caching and reusing decisions. Finally, each frame will be colored and rendered to the viewer. We first propose in an empirical QoE model considering factors that can affect users' QoE of volumetric videos. Uh, we then conduct user studies to validate our model and get its parameters. We choose four volumetric videos of human portraits. We use our, our optimized PewGap model to generate the entire videos for users to read. Our user studies involve 1446 participants from 40 countries. And we then use all the collected users ratings to validate our model. Uh, we do both 10 cross 10 fold cross validation and a cross video validation. And the key takeaways are first, our QE model achieves a median QOE prediction error of 12.49%. And second, our QE model and its parameters is generic for volumetric videos of the same genre. You can find more details about our QE model formulation and the user studies in the paper. Using our QE model, we design Yuzu, a 3D SI enhanced QE aware volumetric video streaming system. Yuzu has three key designs, intro frame SR, interframe SR, and network compute resource adaptation. So Yuzu first speeds up super resolution a single frame. Our optimization have three orthogonal directions. So off the shelf 3D SR operates on a per patch basis. For a point cloud frame, the SR model divides it into several patches. Each patch contains a subset of the points and is upsampled individually. We find patch generation of existing 3D SR introduces pre-processing and post-processing that have high computation overhead. Therefore, our first direction is optimizing the patch generation to trim that, those overhead. And our second direction is optimizing SR model structure. Basically, we prune the model through layer by layer profiling, and we also replace the feature extraction of the model with more efficient ones, since we find that feature extraction dominates the runtime overhead of all the 3D SR models we investigated. Our third direction is to feed less data to SR models. We have, we have two observations here. First. A point cloud is a set of unstructured points. So we can easily merge two point clouds through a set union operation. Second, 3D SR's output points refine and differ from the input points. Based on these insights, you to merge the low res resolution SR input with the SR output to reduce the runtime overhead while maintaining the thin SR ratio. Next, you to speed up SR consecutive frames. Like traditional 2D videos, a volumetric video exhibits similarity across frames. This gives us rich opportunities for caching and reusing SR results. At a high level, Yuzu reuses SR results on a per patch basis to match the patch based SR procedure. The reused decisions are computed based on the similarity between patches. As the figure shows, Yuzu restricts reusing patches only at the same location in multiple frames. We have two considerations here. First, we empirically observe that most patch similarities indeed occur at the same patch location. Second, uh, this restriction maintains an acceptable overhead of pre-computing the caching and the reusing decisions. Uh, we solve the problem of caching and 
reusing as a result across consecutive frames optimally and efficiently uh, through dynamic programming uh, with a goal that minimizing the total number of patches to be upsample. And since Yuzu targets on video on demand volumetric video streaming, all the decisions are pre-computed offline and there is no runtime overhead. Uh, Yuzu adapts not only the fluctuating bandwidth, but also the available compute resource. Uh, these two dimensions occur, incur trade-off uh, given a fixed playback deadline, should you use to download high resolution content or should you use to download low resolution content and upsample it? Yuzu adopts a QoE driven two stage adaptation algorithm to solve this problem. At a high level, in the first stage, before downloading each chunk, Yuzu determines the quality and as a ratio of to be downloaded chunks by a cost grain search, assuming that all the frames in each chunk have the same quality and as a ratio assignment. In the second stage, before upsampling each frame, Yuzu fine tunes as a ratio for each frame. The rationale here is that before downloading each chunk, the playback deadline is still far away for that chunk and the, and the network computation uncertainty diminishes the benefits brought by a fine grained search. And before upsampling each frame, the playback deadline gets closer and a fine grain search then would be beneficial. We implement Yuzu prototype in about uh, 10,000 lines of code in C and C++, and we then conduct extensive evaluation for Yuzu from the following four directions. So first, we evaluate how our optimizations improve super resolutions, runtime uh, performance. Uh, we use the vanilla PUGAN model as the baseline and plot its upsampling FPS in the figure as O1. Uh, the experiments are run on a desktop with a 2080 Ti GPU and as a ratio is set to four. We then apply our optimizations in a cumulative fashion. We first optimize patch generation. Uh, then we uh, apply optimizing a uh, model structure of PUGAN. Uh, we further merge as an input with as an output. And finally, we apply caching and reusing as a results. And as the figure shows, when we apply our optimizations cumulatively, we achieve signi significant improvement in upsampling FPS. Uh, although not shown in the slides, we also find our optimizations reduces GP memory usage by 87%, and there is no accuracy degradation. Next, we use the uh, subjective ratings from our user study to demonstrate how much QE improvement can be brought by Yuzu. Uh, we use four videos. We first downsample each original video to only 25% number of points. We use our optimized PUGAN model to upsample the low resolution videos. We set four ratios, SR ratios, no SR, two times SR, three times SR, and four times SR. Uh, then we let our user rate all the upsampled videos as well as the original one. We set the viewing, viewing distance as one meter and collect 512 participants ratings. As shown in this figure, when the viewing distance is one meter compared to no SR, user significantly boost user perceived QoE by up to 150%. The QoE improvement is positively uh, correlated to the SR ratio. Uh, there is a gap between four times SR and the original content. And that is caused by the distortion brought by 3D SR. Uh, then we evaluate is the end-to-end -end performance of Yuzu over fluctuating binaries. We use Linux TC2 replay 12 LT traces uh, we, that we pre-captured in multiple US cities. Our baseline is streaming 100% number of points for each frame of a volumetric video and do one time SR on the client side. We then consider two different Yuzu setups to compare with the baseline. First, we statically configure Yuzu to always stream 100% number of points for each frame, do one time SR on the client side and enable caching and reusing SR results. Second, the full fledged Yuzu that has all the key components enabled. And this figure shows that the full fledged Yuzu and the statically configured instance uh, hugely improve the QE and the reduce the data usage 
compared to the baseline. We also compare Rizu with existing viewport adaptive streaming solutions. We choose Vivo, a recently proposed viewport adaptive approach. Vivo leverage six DOF motion prediction and mainly streams the content that will be appear in the predicted viewport. We run Yuzu and Vivo over wider network with stable bandwidths and consider, consider three different bandwidths, 50, 75, and 100 Mbps. Uh, we use four videos, and for each video, we collect 32 users' motion traces when they watch that video. We replace these motion traces when running the experiments. Uh, we plot the QE improvement brought by Yuzu compared to Vivo, and the figure shows that Yuzu outperforms Vivo by 101% to 175% on QE. And here is a 10 second demo video of two Yuzu configurations. The left one is 25% points with four times SR, and the right one is 25% points with one times SR. Uh, to conclude, in this paper, we conduct an in-depth investigation on applying 3D SR to stream volumetric content. And our proposed QE model and the Yuzu system take a first and important step toward making SR enhanced volumetric video streaming principled, practical, and affordable. Uh, I think that's all for my presentation. Thanks for listening, and I'll take any questions.